Hey, what's going on team? Eddie Gray here. Hopefully you're doing well. I want to talk to you about IK Multimedia. I've been following the channel so that I am tracking down any and all problems that are occurring with the new M1 systems, specifically Ultra, but of course it's going to translate to other systems as well. Every plugin is working pretty well, but there is one culprit that is really messing up things. I went ahead and filmed this beforehand just so I didn't lose the data so go ahead and check this out here i am going through various presets want to make sure everything is running well running smoothly when i open up fame studio reverb i get a message I've never seen before looks like this and so when you're met with this you're stuck in a kind of limbo because you can't open the plugin freezing at the same time it's awful so i want you to be aware of that error message and scream for your life if you find it. So for now, go ahead and either throw away the component file because it is corrupt. We can ask IK to try and update that. But there's one more other thing I wanna point out before we get out of here. A lot of plugin companies, when you actually download these files, what they do, instead of throwing the trash away on their own, they kind of leave it up to you. In the case of IK Multimedia, you look at this file path, which is Macintosh, Users, Eddie Gray, Documents, IK Multimedia. If you follow that, you'll find that all of the libraries are still sitting within that bag. And so I went ahead and threw everything away already, but you'll find that everything is zipped inside of this IK product manager. So even though you already have everything installed, what they do is they just keep everything in there, like they're storing info in their coffers, but there's really no purpose. I believe I had upwards of, I don't know, it was like 40 gigs, 70 gigs. So just be aware of that when working with IK Multimedia. But other than that, everything is sounding great. Everything is working just the way it's supposed to and all the effects are pretty good. I did have some issues loading the TR5 white channel and the classic, I think it was the clipper, it may have been something else, but it definitely uh, took a little bit of fixing. What I did, I went into the plugin manager and when something was not successfully validated, all I did was I hit reset and rescan selection. That went ahead, isolated the problem and then brought me back to being successfully validated. If you're not gonna use plugins, you could throw them away. You can see here what I've done is I basically take them out of the picture. So that, I don't know, maybe I change my mind in the future, but how many EQs do you really need? How many compressors do you really need at the end of the day? I'm on this trip now where I just really wanna find the best plugins. I wanna center my workflow around them. What I do, is I utilize Plugin Manager by Plug Search, and I basically just favorite by holding Command, or by clicking on Command rather, I can focus on the plugins that I wanna use within every single session. Now you could do that by means of a key command, as you can see here, or you can just click, and you can also just search. So if I'm looking for, I don't know, something by CLA, there it is right there. So Plug Search is a must these days, of course, you could do it not just on an instrumental level, but on a uh, audio effect level. And then you can also get MIDI effects in here as well. So if I hold command, these are my favorite MIDI effects. And then within my instruments, again, click on command and hear all of my fave go-to instruments. So for those of you working with IK Multimedia, be careful. I did check the IK product manager, but Nothing seems to be updated yet. Go ahead and message IK Multimedia and let them know that we need this Fame Reverb back. It's actually one of my favorites. I do have a couple videos on the channel about it. It will be missed. But this is what it's all about, making this transition. You could have stuff that is compatible with Ro Rosetta, but, but if you invested in a machine like this, you might as well get the most bang for your buck. So anyhow, this is Eddie Gray signing off. Uh, I will be covering Eventide soon and a couple of others out there. If there's anything you want to see, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.